From Wall Street to Main Street, this is LA Late. It's a big evening as your $1,400 third stimulus check, especially the 30 million Americans who are on Social Security, SSI, SSDI, Social Security, and railroad benefits, may see a major update to their irs.gov portal this Saturday. $1,400 third stimulus checks are on their way, especially for the 30 million Americans who did not get it because of a snafu because between Social Security and Treasury. I have all the latest, greatest details that are happening right now. Yes, checks are going out. The big question is just when. Meantime, I'll have new video from the White House, also a new video from the press secretary, and also a new video as Dr. Fauci addresses the resurgence of the virus. Meantime, incredible great news across the board as we could see a major push for Ford Stimulus next week. What's happening with Ford Stimulus? And does it have a likelihood to pass or will it have to get a little bit modified before it gets to the finish line? It's a big day with a lot of news and as we go into a late afternoon, the excitement's unfolding. And let's get ready to rock and roll as Afternoon's LA gets underway right now. Good afternoon. If you're on SSI, SSDI, Social Security and Railroad Benefits, you have reason to be pleased because 30 million Americans have been identified that did not get a stimulus check under the first wave of stimulus checks going out and the second wave of stimulus checks going out. There will be a third wave, but when is that wave going to happen? So let me wave to you. How are you? Hi. <laughs> Let's all wave. Let's wave. Another wave. Get up and wave. <laughs> Not that type of wave. The other type of wave. A wave of stimulus checks. One that puts money in your pocket. So you go up and then you get down. There's some money in your pocket. That type of wave. Well, is that third wave of the $14 stimulus checks starting already? Has it already happened? Has it already gone out? I have all those details in this recording. If you've not subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Also, like this video. When you're going up for the way, just sort of hit that like button up and then hit. <laughs> and if you've not become a member, consider becoming a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, or Purple Waving Calcino VIP. How are you? Uh, the real exciting great news is that there was a problem. We knew there was a problem. And other people heard there was a problem. So then they heard there was a problem, and then they talked about the problem. And they claimed to have fixed the problem. Now, whether they fixed it for all of us, we will see. But the great news was, one, they saw there was a problem. And whether they understood why the problem happened or not, that's a whole other subject matter. But the issue is that they see and understand and have agreed that people did not get stimulus checks. That's the hardest part of the, of the discussion is ensuring that people understand that you did not get a stimulus check. And guess what? They believe it's at least 30 million Americans. 30 million Americans did not get a $1,400 third stimulus check who are on SSI, SSDI, Social Security, and Railroad Benefits. They're starting with. But I have, and you believe, enough evidence to suggest that it's actually much larger. That includes people not on benefits, not on Social Security, that also didn't get a stimulus check. But at least we got progress. And the progress might actually have already fixed itself for a lot of people today. Why? Because the first stimulus package wave went out two Fridays ago, and the second stimulus package wave went out last Friday. Each wave went out on a Friday for a direct deposit so that it would land in direct deposits the following Wednesday. So was a wave done today? And I don't mean this one. <laughs> was a wave done today that sent out stimulus checks? Well, let's look at what they said. This was the most final remark said by this individual. This is your Social Security Administrator. And this was his final, his most recent statement earlier today, late yesterday. Uh, no, it's this one. 
it says, once we were free to move forward, we aggressively worked with Treasury and IRS to issue payments. Wow, that's really great news. I mean, look at it. That sentence has three past tense verbs, three verbs in the past. Once we were, past tense, free to move forward, we aggressively worked, past tense, with Treasury to issue, past tense, payments. Doesn't say we we're hoping to get forward and go moving forward. This is past tense. So does that mean stimulus checks are on their way? Well, they are on their way. The question is, when are they on their way? Here's what you need to know. $1,400 third stimulus checks were identified as not being given to viewers, not being identif as identified as not being given to U.S. citizens. Now, while they may not have on point yet the total magnitude of people who don't have stimulus checks, they do understand it's 30 million. They do understand it's 30 million. And, not, and who is they? Broadcast news. <laughs> when it's front page news, you want to like it because guess what? It's pushing the envelope. It's getting the message loud and clear. This is what a lot of the broadcast news reporters today said. 30 million people may receive $14 stimulus checks after Social Security Administration previously provides payment information. So it's saying the broadcast news reporters who don't really cover this subject and, you know, they're not, this is not their space. They do, uh, you know, tennis shoes and things like that. Uh, they're, they're reporting, the broadcast news channels, is that 30 million people need stimulus checks at least. Well, that's good news. What do we know as the viewers of this channel? We know that the people who need stimulus checks is more than 30 million. We know that the people missing stimulus checks is more than 30 million. We know that the group includes people on benefits and not on benefits. It includes people who file tax returns and don't file tax returns. It includes people who use the non-fire filing tool, more about that in a second, and people who didn't use the non-fire filing tool in 2020. It includes people who got that first and second stimulus check on time. It includes people who did it. And guess what's a new permutation, which we learned middle of today on this channel from the viewers' of channel. It includes people who were told by the, by the IRS.gov tool, we know where you are. We'll send you a mailed check. And they haven't gotten it. What am I referring to? Yeah, that thing. That little thing, yes, that little thing. Remember what Representative Neal said? He said, Social Security doesn't know where you are. <laughs> Untrue. Untrue. Uh, why? Because today, in one of the videos when I went live with you, I asked you, uh, I think it was a, a wonderful, nice viewer named Beth. She said, I have a 26, March 26 result in the IRS.gov tool that says my check will land March 26. I haven't gotten it. I said, wow. I said, that's really interesting. And then suddenly another viewer said it, and then another viewer, and then another viewer. I said, wait a second, how many people in this room that are watching live have a date from the iris.gov tool that's coming in the mail and they never got it? <laughs> and then the screen went crazy. Yeah, if you have an IRS tool result that says you're gonna get a stimulus check by mail and have not gotten it, drop in the comments right now. I'd like to see it. I'd like to see the reaction. That's the first issue. Second issue was, this one, Treasury said yesterday that, um, you know, maybe the issue is uh, you never filed a tax return or you didn't use our non-filer filing tool. So we're trying to figure out who you are. <laughs> uh, you know, there's a couple things you got to laugh about this. Treasury saying they don't know who you are, but you're in their database saying, yes, you're going to get a stimulus check today, and it doesn't come. I, yeah, I think they know where you are. They just can't get you the check. Uh, but then the other one is this non-fire filing tool. I mean, you, you, we want to say positive and focused, but some, when I hear this, I want to just take that non-fire filing tool and throw it out the window. I mean, all last year, we heard about this darn non-filing filing tool. We were specifically told by the Treasury's website not to use the tool if you're on benefits of SSI and SSDI, because guess what the tool said? If you're on benefits and have been on benefits for many years, we know where you are. We give you benefits every month. Of course, we know where you are. It specifically said, don't use the tool if you file tax returns. And it said, don't use the tool unless two situations are at hand. One, that you newly went on a benefits this year, or two, you have a child. And now they said, well, maybe you should have all used the tool. 
I asked the viewers in the earlier chat, did you use the tool last year? <laughs> because you were told not to use the tool. And the comments went crazy. If you're watching this video right now, drop in the comments if you did not use tool. Did not use tool. I'd like to see your comments as well. You see what's going on is that suddenly people uh, are hearing a lot of stories, a lot of stories about why stimulus checks have not come. And ultimately, the great news is that we don't really care why they aren't here. We just like that this guy is trying to get them out or is indicating they're out. Once we are free to move forward, we aggressively work to Treasury to IRS to pay issue payments. I love that. So is there a third wave of stimulus checks going out? Yes, of course. Of course there is. Of course there's a third wave of stimulus checks going out. Are they going by direct deposit or mail checks? Probably both. What's the percentage? We really don't know. The second wave, uh, Treasury said a large number of them were by the mail. And I knew that at least 50% of the viewers of this channel were getting the mail response. What day is the third wave of stimulus checks going to land? This is the million dollar question because we all know it's going to happen or we know it has happened. The question is what day are you going to get them? My insight and your details reveal that the first waves of stimulus checks went out on a Friday. The second wave went out on a Friday. Today's a Friday. And every day they had the effective date of the stimulus check or the arrival date or the direct deposit or the mail check, it was a Wednesday. So did the stimulus checks go out today to land by direct deposit, including direct express card, Chase, Wells Fargo, Bank of America, H&R Block for next Wednesday? We won't particularly know until this Monday, officially, because last Monday, officially, Treasury told us what they had done the, mon the Friday before, and they did it the week before. They waited till it happened on a Friday, and then the following Monday, they updated us. Well, guess what? We may not need to wait to Monday to find out. We may find out as a family and viewers' this channel before this Monday. And how will that happen? I have all those details coming up. And I also have the details of how to find out where that actual stimulus check will be. Meantime, the White House had to deal with a lot of stuff today and a lot of stuff of a flurry of stuff. Among the flurries were the horrible tornadoes hitting across the country. Let's listen in to what the White House had to say today about those horrible tornadoes. dollars for children under the age of six. It also gives families an additional tax credit to help out child care costs for children younger than 13. Uh, as you all have probably seen, uh, there have been uh, some tornadoes in the, the south. We are monitoring those closely, the severe weather outbreak that's impacting, of course, the southeastern part of the United States. We extend our deepest condolences to the people in Alabama and Mississippi who lost loved ones as a result of the severe weather outbreak. Uh, we continue to. And the White House will continue to monitor that situation. Meantime, the vice president spoke today about the importance of a family and the importance of children getting food in this pandemic. Which was to look at child care, to look at our child care workers, to look at our children, to bring them out of poverty, and to do what has long been overlooked, which is to understand that, you know, our children, um, we cannot in public policy subordinate them as, you know, as, as because I guess they're little people, little problems. <laughs> and instead understand. Again, if you just want to go to what our friends in the private sector, how they judge themselves, what is the return on the investment? You invest in our children, you're going to get a huge return on the investment. The question is, how much are we going to invest in our children? And this may signal what's happening in forced stimulus. I'll have a little bit of that at later in this video. Meantime, also coming up in this video is more news, news from Dr. Fauci. And also this tool that might help you find your stimulus check. Also be going over new statements that are exchanged from SSA and also Treasury about your stimulus. New details across the board. Um, all that and exciting news and how you could actually find the actual day the stimulus may be landing in the next 24 hours. I'll have all that coming up in a second, but stay with me. I'll be back in 60 seconds. If you want money right now, not five days from now and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. 
The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. Home LA Late returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LA Late at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LA Late. And the excitement continues on LA Late at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. That's in about, wow, about an hour from now. As evenings LA heats up, boy, that's going to be a big show. You better tune in. I will be in the live chat for that with you. That's evenings LA followed by Hazard Pay at 7 on the West Coast, 10 on the East Coast. When you jump into that live chat for, for evenings LA, better say hi. <laughs> I'll say hi back to you. If you're just joining me, this is Afternoons LA at a special time. If you've not subscribed, make sure you subscribe. I don't want you to miss a single minute of anything that happens across the board. And really, there's a lot happening. Also, like this video. Let's try to do two, 3,000 likes. And if you've not become a member, consider becoming a member. How do you know, how would we know as a family when the stimulus checks are going out for this third wave before Treasury tells us? We can hope that tomorrow will be like last Saturday. What happened? Last Saturday, we had four different things happen, so we learned that stimulus checks were on the way. If you were watching me last Saturday, I delivered the world exclusive that second wave of stimulus checks were coming out before Treasury announced it this Monday. And how did I learn it? From you. There were four things that happened last weekend, and if they happen again, we would have the details that the third wave has already commenced. What were the details? One, a viewer uh, named Ira was told by his bank, Chase, that there was going to be a big drop of stimulus checks on the March 24th, this last Wednesday. Second, another viewer was told by his bank, Wells, that there was also going to be a big drop of stimulus checks by direct deposit on his bank on March 24th. Sure enough, that's what happened. When you saw the list of the banks that did deliver stimulus checks on Wednesday, it were the big banks, all including Direct Express. And what was the next type of uh, notifications we got? Direct Express. I had viewers last Saturday start to receive this type of message. And if you get this message, send it to me on Instagram, DM me, or DM me on Twitter, or DM me on Facebook. If you get a message that there's a pending deposit for a stimulus check next week. Uh, don't send it to me if it says today, because we already know there's a problem with people that got an alert that's today and they didn't get it. But if you're getting an alert that's a stimulus check coming next week, then send it off to me right away. This was from Direct Express uh, uh, to, a to several viewers last Saturday that said, guests, get ready, because the stimulus check's coming in on Wednesday. And they got it. Now, what were the other two big updates that happened last weekend? These are the ones that you have to hope happen tomorrow because, boy, if they do, it means the third wave has commenced and the stimulus checks are coming next Wednesday. The big change was the change at irs.gov. The website tool changed its results last Saturday after a massive database update showed new results for viewers. What would the results change to? They went from no results for their name to now a result of March 24th or March 26th. This is what happened last Saturday. Or they went from a result that said, you're getting a stimulus check on St. Patrick's Day, which clearly they did not. And now it said they're getting a stimulus check on March 24th. And wow, I gotta tell you that of the big updates Saturday, last Saturday, 
50% saw an update that said a check is coming by direct deposit this Wednesday, last Wednesday, March 24th. Those results were generally correct, but we're now seeing that the results that changed last Saturday say, hi, you're getting a stimulus check on March 26th, so far are not correct. If you're in the live chat right now and you have an IRS tool at any time this week that says delivery of a stimulus check with a date, and you still don't have the check, say me right now, say M-E, me, because boy, earlier today, we had a lot of viewers who were not getting the mailed check, even though the irs.gov tool shows you you're getting a mail check. Now, if you're a viewer who, are, who gets that alert that you're getting a mail check, you may want to consider using this instrument, if I can find it here. There it is. This is an instrument from IRS, from, excuse me, from USPS.com. It's called the Informed Delivery uh, by USPS. If you're on Google, you could just look up Informed, I-N-F-O-R-M-E-D, Delivery, Post Office, and it'll tell you if there is mail coming to you. you can, it'll send you a, an image of the mail coming to you. Now, what happens if you do not have a result on IRS.gov? and you use the tool and there's no results. Don't worry, because that's what happened last Friday. Viewers had no results, and then Saturday, bam, there was a result. How often should you look? Once a day. Where should you look? On the IRS tool and also in the transcript tool. If you have never done the transcript trick, watch the video from, I think, Wednesday on this channel with the title, a transcript in the title. It explains how to do the transcript trick. But this is where it is. When we see these sort of surges then we know that something's happening. Now, this is what's very strange, and I think this is the first time I'm saying this on camera right now, because it just sort of hit me right now, the, re re uh, the revelation, is that last Saturday, we had a lot of people go from no information on the tool to now saying a stimulus check's coming. And guess what? On Wednesday, we had a half a million to a million views, viewers, and we had 100 to 200 people get stimulus checks. I mean, that's awful numbers. 100 to 200 people got stimulus checks of a half a million viewers on Wednesday. So what happened with the rest of them? Well, I'm now starting to see throughout the comments today that people had alerts that a stimulus check was coming. In generally in the mail was the alert they're getting, and they did not get it. Now, ultimately, you know what my, my, my thought process is. I'm not going to sit back and debate what um, Representative, Oni Representative Neal said in his letter uh, two days ago because he wrote a letter. I covered it on this channel. And at this point, the letter doesn't really line up. Most viewers don't agree with it either because it basically says they don't know where you are and that's why they can't send you money. <laughs> as one viewer said, I've been on SSI and SSDI for 14 years. You know, how to, you know how to send me a check every month. What do you mean you don't know where I am? And so the claim that there's somehow a need to file a tax return or non-filer filing must have been used, I don't really buy the argument. We're demanding immediate answers from IRS and Social Security why it's taking so long, said one representative earlier this week. But that push got an incredible change as Saul said, guess what? It's coming. It's coming. And broadcast news keeping it front page news across the board. Meantime, there's new video out, more about this in a second, but meantime, there's new video out from the Wise House talking about the resurgence of the virus with the variants. B1117, which I've detailed before on this channel, still remains a concern. What is B1117? It's the London variant, which is the most deadly and the fastest to spread. It is in the United States. It has derivations of it, like the New York version of B117. But there's still concerns about how to battle B117. Let's listen in. It's one of the it's the most concern disconcerting variants to the virus. Variants. Uh, we continue to scale up our, our surveillance of the variants. Um, the uh, B117 has now been detected in, in 51 jurisdictions, um, over 8,000 cases. We're watching it very closely. Um, it, it is you know our our uh, percent of those of it, of the variants is a little bit lagging behind our data because um, it takes a while to do the sequences and, and to sequence the variants and do that population-based analysis. But yes, we're worried about the increase. Yeah, the, the issue is the dynamics of the increase 
are telling us that it was going to continue to be a greater proportion. Because if you look from week to week, 117 becomes more of a percentage. And as the percentage goes up, that's a reflection that it has the capability to become dominant. How many, how many stimulus checks, though, are unpaid? That remains really a big question. In a video last night, about 24 hours ago today, uh, the president addressed the American people and said millions of checks are still going out. But he didn't give any further clarity. What is going out next week is the four stimulus package to members of Congress. And what's in that four stimulus package? Um, I will be covering it for you, but I, I want you to be pre warned. The stimulus package is going to be sort of like Godzilla versus um, King Kong. It's just absolutely going to be a mess because it, it, it has stuff in there that Democrats don't like. It has stuff in there that moderate Democrats don't like. And so I don't know where it's going to go from A to B yet. Uh, we're far from over on that issue. You saw throughout today me detailing the filibuster. The filibuster is a, a big issue in the Senate. Uh, you've seen me deliver the video to you of Elizabeth Warren calling for the end of the filibuster. And you saw the video yesterday from the president during that press conference saying he wants to end the filibuster. He's a former senator, of course. Well, a series of new reports say that Chuck Schumer may not want to touch the filibuster. Uh, and they really don't know. He's not talking about it either. Senator John Tester says, I don't think Schumer personally wants to change the rules. But on the other hand, Senator Maisie Hirano said, I think it's going to mean we're going to have to go and do a filibuster reform. We shall see. It's far from over. But the real great news is that broadcast news has put you and your subject and your discussion front page. They say that people on SSI, SSDI, Social Security and Railroad Benefits, and veterans and seniors did not get stimulus checks, 30 million of them. And that's very good because your subject is front page. Stimulus checks always drive uh, popularity to broadcast news reporters. But certainly when they have a number like 30 million and a $14 stimulus check, it's very apparent there's an issue. It's not a small number of people. Now, what you need to know with this channel is that there is far more than that that have not gotten stimulus checks. And the great news is that this wave may already be out. We won't know it until they officially announce it to us, officially, but we may see it informally starting tomorrow. That irs.gov tool initially was not a very helpful instrument for us, but now has been the eyes and ears for us to see where things are coming. And also what's coming next week, boy, a lot of strange stuff across the board. As we try to unravel why there was so much lack of clarity on this stimulus this week, we had seen details initially that there may be some stimulus checks missing. And then we saw the video from Janet Yellen that was posted from the White House and then removed. So along the lines, we don't, we've seen a lot of confusion. And it's no reason for us to muddy or jump into the mud of the confusion. Rather, let's stay focused and let's stay positive. Let's keep the message loud and clear. I didn't get a stimulus check, and I'm owed a stimulus check. And a discussion. Very, very easy, breezy. Don't put the pressure back on your banks, because the banks aren't at fault. It's not the fault of your banks that you haven't gotten your stimulus check. The only people that are at fault for not getting your stimulus check are the people who write the check, Treasury. If you haven't gotten your check, it's not because the bank has and they're holding on to it. You haven't gotten your check, it isn't because Direct Express has it. They don't have it. And if anyone tells you your check is coming to you on a particular date and they have no information other than what you see on irs.gov, they don't know what they're talking about. No one knows where or when this third wave is going to happen until we have the official announcement from IRS. And we'll hopefully have that on Monday. But... As viewers of this channel have learned, you and I may see the data start to percolate tomorrow if the IRS tool starts to update again overnight with new dates, new delivery mechanisms, and new details across the board. And together, we'll find those answers together tomorrow morning. But for now, join me in about, wow, uh, about 55 minutes from now. As evenings, LA heats up, that is a big show. You don't want to miss that one. And then we go into hazard pay uh, 90 minutes after that. 
at eight o'clock Eastern Standard Time is Evenings L8, and then it's Hazard Pay 90 minutes after that. If you've not subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Also, like this video. Stay informed, keep on smiling, and I'll see you in the live chat and interact with you, and I'll say hi as Evenings L8 gets underway in about 90 minutes from now. Stay informed, stay focused, and stay with LA for more.